to me, classic cars and vintage cars are a form of art as well. And I think more and more people are recognizing the history of the automobile and putting it into a context of collector's object rather than just a day-to-day -day vehicle. So to me, classic cars are just another expression or just another form of art. I think when cars were being made in the 1950s and 60s and 70s, the designers had a lot more freedom to express themselves. So when we're looking at classic cars and vintage cars, we're seeing lots of different shapes and lots of different styles that I don't think we see today. We see a lot of variation within the manufacturers. And cars went from being quite plain looking to incredibly kind of swept looking and shapely. That's the kind of the crossover period that I like the most. And one of the most special cars in my collection is an Alfa Romeo Villa Desti, which is probably one of the last handmade Alfa Romeo cars. They're incredibly beautiful, elegant, sporting cars. Probably one of the most special cars ever made, I think. I'm really excited to drive in the Mille Emilia this year. I'll be doing this Mille Emilia with my friend Derek Hill, who we're both kind of newcomers to it. It's just always special to be in an old car in Italy. There's so much heritage in this country, and I suspect that it was the Mille Emilia which generated such a huge car culture that still remains in Italy. I think the FCA Heritage Initiative is very important. We are leaving the combustion age, so it's really important to do the best service possible to all of the men and women who dedicated their lives to improving engines, to improving cars, to preserve this mechanical age for generations to come.